Hey everybody, I hope your day is going well. I want to focus this video on a very practical and important topic, which is if you have a toxic boss or manager in your work history, do you have to list them as a reference when you're interviewing for a new role? Uh, I, I, there's a lot of misinformation flo floating around about this particular topic, so uh, I just want to clear the air here. So first things first, understand this. If there is someone in your work history that you know without a shadow of a doubt is going to speak ill of you or negatively of you, you absolutely are under zero obligation to list them as a reference, and you should not do that. Um, this is not school, you know, there's no permanent record there. There's no obligation, even if someone was your direct boss, that they have to serve as your reference for that role. So please know that going in. Okay, so if we've committed that uh, we are not going to go down that road, right, we're not going to list them as a reference, what are the practicalities of this? Okay, so number one, uh, nothing in the resume should re mention references at all, not even references available upon request. It's all known, and you're going to be asked for that um, later on in the interviewing process, okay? So don't list anything on the resume, and as a side note, also don't list anything in the resume that has any negative connotations like being laid off or fired or conflicts or anything like that. Make sure your resume is scrubbed clean of anything like that. Okay, now let's say you're interviewing, and they're like, you know what, we're going to need those references in the next one. Okay, great. Here's what you want to do. Um, for, the, you know, if the role that, that we're talking about that has the toxic boss is like eight to 10 years down the line, don't even bother with it. Okay. If this toxic boss is from a position that's more recent, specifically, let's say within the last five years or so, then what I would do is look for alternate references at this company. Okay. So, were there other managers that you reported to? Were there heads of other divisions that you were friendly with that might be comfortable serving as a reference? Did you get friendly with the CEO of the company? You know, in other words, someone higher up. These are all people who you can conceivably send a quick note to, uh, refresh their minds and let them know how what a pleasure it was to learn alongside them and whether they'd be open to serving as a reference. Many of them will, right? So these are all alternate senior level people that could be used as a reference in place of this toxic boss or manager. Coworkers also work in a pinch, right? Um, if we're looking for each of these roles to have at least, let's say, two references for every major role you've had in the last five years, then yeah, absolutely. Put in a coworker or two, you know, and make it clear that they were a coworker that you were very friendly with and that you knew well. It's fine. That's not going to be a problem. Um, you also have to understand that no one during an interview is going to is going to be like looking at your references and say, what about Jim? You know, and you're like, oh my God, no, not Jim. The, 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 the worst boss, uh, you know, I've ever had. No one's, no one's going to do that that right no one's gonna no one's gonna bring that up and even when they're checking references no one is going to during the course of a normal standard uh, reference check no one's gonna be like hey has he given you the reference of his direct supervisor because he would be much more relevant don't worry about that that's not gonna happen um, in most 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 cases uh, and 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 so that's how I would think about it you know think about alternate managers alternate bosses think about co-workers uh, and commit to not uh, bringing this person on into your future, you know, um, they're in your past, let them stay in your past and know that you don't have to carry their weight, their negativity and toxicity like an anchor around your neck as you move into the future. Um, this is your career. This is your story and your narrative. And you ultimately have full say over who gets to be a part of it and who doesn't. And a toxic boss or manager definitely does not get a chance to be a part of your incredible future. So I hope that has been helpful. Uh, do keep the questions coming in and I will do my best to answer them uh, as expediently as I can. Thank you for learning with me and do continue following my videos and content uh, if you're getting some good value out of it. Thank you.